Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Through the Ages. Today we're going to go through a recent async game I played. Um, and we can load in from the start. So, let's take a look at the leaders and wonders involved. Um, so we have Roman Rhodes. Uh, he's taking pyramids for his first turn. Um, then we have most of the leaders already in the row. Um, we have Himeji uh, for age one wonder. Um, no Nostradamus here, no Zizka, uh, no Bach. Um, there is also no ocean liner, so potentially keep an eye out for irrigation. Um, and then we have Pierre, Bill Gates, no Gandhi. We do have a Manhattan Project, no International Red Cross. Um, so yeah, um, I think here um, I go with uh, Cleopatra, mainly because I didn't want to spend two civil actions on any of these cards, and um, I don't actually take a second card because I didn't want to have to take Patriotism. Um, it's not really a card I value that highly. So I just end up going with Cleopatra. Uh, this will leave uh, Roman Rhodes on one for me on my turn. Um, and yeah, he just goes build a mine and take a couple of yellow cards. So I go with the mine first, take Roman Rhodes and populate. Um, making use of Cleopatra's one, one uh, rock bonus. can't finish uh, Roman Rhodes this turn. Uh, I don't want any of those uh, leaders, so I end up going with Swordsman. He gets the uh, religion event. I was hoping to get Joan of Arc by leaving her on two, but I think maybe with the religion event he decided it was worth the, the pick up at two. I finish Roman Rhodes, I get the religion as well, and I just go with Breakthrough. I was tempted to go with, with Iron, and sacrifice the civil action, but I ended up because uh, that's the first iron I decided against that. So a bit of early pressure from from strength, getting that tactic out. I know I can uh, defend with with one card, so I'm I'm okay with the the strength difference at the moment. He's looking pretty good in terms of civil actions once he'll get uh, Forbidden City finished. I end up going Isabella. Um, I thought it was a better pick there than, than Genghis. Um, it also helped with corruption. So yeah, he gets Forbidden City finished. Um, So here I'm thinking um, there's not really any cards. I mean, I could make a case for taking Monarchy, um, given I only have two military actions. But uh, I think I'm also pretty tempted by Himeji. Um, I don't really want that to be available to, to the opponent. Um, so I end up spending the three civil actions on that. So he gets the last copy of iron. Um, he doesn't have irrigation though. Um, so that's that's something to note. And this actually works out well. I, I haven't seeded, I don't think. I maybe seeded one colony. Um, so there's a couple of others uh, in the deck that were probably seeded by him. But having Isabella um, actually worked, worked out pretty, pretty well for me there. So my main concern here is is my pretty low rock production, and I haven't seen um, haven't seen oil yet. The here I've left selective breeding on three, 
Um, I mean, there he had plenty of civil action, so he could take it. But just leaving it uh, leaving it on, on three was um, something I, I wanted to do to make it a bit more expensive for him. And another colony comes out, um, which I am able to win as well. That really helps in terms of science, because um, I can see Common is also coming. Um, so that that extra three science allows me to actually be able to develop common if I get it. And strategy comes out straight away after common as well. So yeah, I go with I'm denying selective breeding for one. Even he has no access to food was a uh, pretty pretty good play I think. So again, Isabella paying off, paying off here for me in terms of the colonies. Definitely starting to feel some pressure on the strength, but I do have more military actions now, so I uh, feel still feel okay, and I also get a Meiji built. Still a bit concerned on my uh, my low rock production once, uh, especially once I switch leaders. Um, given how the colony game has worked so far, Cook is actually looking very attractive. I'm surprised they didn't take coal there. Um, a little surprised by that. And another another colony. Yeah, and I actually end up getting ahead in strength, um, given the pretty pretty good tactic I had drawn. Unfortunately, I don't manage to win this even with Cook, but it was fairly expensive. Um, but they can easily rebuild. So he is going to lose Joan of Arc here, which takes his strength back down. So immediately Bill Gates shows up, I think I kind of give him my resource situation. Uh, I don't want him to get that either. Um, and I actually end up building straight um, rather than upgrading first. Um, it was mainly to get out of corruption, given I was spending three civil actions on Bill Gates. So here I'm, I'm kind of thinking, probably um, given my resource situation, I'm probably okay to 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 just lose the the pop uh, to Catherine. And I end up winning the autonomous territory. I end up going with uh, resource here uh, just to be able to rebuild. I think. the efficient upgrade I know I'm going to need that on next turn because um, I'm planning on developing coal and hopefully getting one of my labs upgraded. So he's gone with Churchill here. He's still struggling with for military actions. Yeah I just I disband the uh, the lab to build the bread and circus and fix the happy place situation. So overall, I think my position is looking pretty, pretty good here. Um, I'm uh, pulling away in in terms of culture. Um, I have like eleven culture production at the moment. I have plenty of colonies, uh, which are really driving that. So Cook is giving me six. He's on four. So all this while, I've been pulling quite a bit away. He's still only on two military actions after uh, changing leaders. Um, so war isn't really an option at the moment anyway. So I get the last lab upgraded. And yeah, air forces as well, just in case. 
the military theory does come out on his turn, he immediately immediately takes it. I can just end the game, I think, here. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I was that's what I end up doing. Um, and I get strategy out. So I'm not going to get a final wonder. You'll get probably two. Given our uh, the lead I've built up with uh, with Cook, I'm actually I think either still ahead or very close with one turn left. Uh, so he ends on 91. Uh, I'm on 98 currently. Um, a small differential for government, which I had seeded. I think I used impact of balance on that last turn. If I go end up going with democracy. Um, and I build two more labs uh, just for the Bill Gates bonus at the end. Um, so end of game, we're finishing on 129 versus 112 uh, with the impact still to come. So population doesn't change anything. Balance, as I said, I see did that. It was a very small advantage. Harmony, uh, that was also seeded by me, I believe. Uh, again, just small plus four difference, and then he exceeded obviously impact of strength, uh, and then with the Bill Gates bonus we get another plus eight, so at the end a a decent win. Um, yeah, it was. I thought uh, Isabella worked out very well um, in the end, and uh, like I wasn't even planning on setting up for taking her. I was actually hoping to get Joan of Arc. Um, so to have that work out quite quite well was was really good um, and then having James Cook as well um, he really really kind of yeah he, he probably was the key in, in winning this given uh, the amount of culture he was able to generate for us um, so yeah that's the game I guess take a quick look at the, the graphs um, yeah this is James Cook uh, you can see the culture here. We we just start pulling away massively, um, so that that worked out well. In terms of science, uh, yeah, we we kind of consistently ahead uh, up until the late game, um, and then food. Um, it wasn't a very very high food production game for either of us. Um, he didn't he didn't really suffer as much as I thought. Um, he might, given he missed out on both irrigation and selective breeding. He did win, I guess, the, the vast territory too, which, which helped a lot. Um, but again, I also had won the, I think the vast territory won. So yeah, the food wasn't wasn't as big of an issue as, as maybe it, it has been in other games. Uh, resources then, um, again, like, like I said, I missed out on... Um, iron and only got coal going very late um, so I was quite quite a bit behind um, by the end of the game in terms of the amount I had actually produced um, but yeah I think uh, I think cook was the key here um, and yeah pretty pretty pleased with how it worked out in the end but yeah that's gonna do it for today thanks for uh, joining let me know if you have any thoughts on this one um, otherwise, uh, hope you can join again next time. Thank you.